There's a couple wide receivers out there, and you dropped, I believe, between the two of you each name, but we've got all flood of uh, responses concerning Carnell Tate, and of course, Brandon Innes dropped, I believe, his top six, mm -hmm. and Ohio State's included, but that's, man, when you're talking about six schools under consideration, that's a, a difficult get, but do um, you guys have any insight into those two? Go ahead, Steve. Uh, not really. Um, I think there was some optimism on the Tate front, probably that's come out. Uh, I think Tennessee is a major player for him as well. Maybe with some NIL inducement involved there. Um, I don't have a firm grasp on him. In Ennis, I did see the tweet with six schools. And again, my eyes just kind of glazed over like, okay, they're one of six, you know, call, call me five minutes before he's ready to announce. And, and again, um, I don't know where they're at on visits or who's going where, or if anybody's coming back to Columbus before they announce or whatever. But uh, I guess Tate is supposed to announce at any time, depending on when his video is ready. But, uh, you know, I, I guess, uh, I guess we'll see how that all works out. Yeah. I, I think, um, as we said, Ennis is coming in this weekend so he's going to take all of his visits, I, I assume, before any kind of announcement. But from everything we're hearing, uh, a couple of the, the insiders at, at Buckeye Scoop, like Bill Green and, and Alex Gleitman, still feel good about both uh, Carnell Tate and Brandon Innes. And, you know, the, all of these industries, all of these uh, networks have their projections, their, their crystal balls and, and their projections. And Still, I don't think we've seen anybody necessarily moving off of Carnell Tate to Ohio State. Like everybody has made their pick for Carnell Tate to Ohio State. You're not seeing necessarily anybody jump to Tennessee. And once word kind of gets out about where somebody is going, you will see project projections switch. Uh, unless, of course, the projection, unless, of course, Carnell Tate is choosing Ohio State, in which case you'll see maybe more come in on Ohio State. But for me, like until I see people saying, "Oh no, no, I'm definitely hearing more Tennessee," I, I'm I, I, I assume both are going to end up at Ohio State at this point. Now we are six months out from signing day, so definitely anything can happen. And Brandon Ennis has already committed to Oklahoma once and, and decommitted, so um, you would hope that his next decision will be his final one. But I think from the people I talk to, they feel good about both of these guys. And it's uh, you know you're starting to see some Tennessee noise that they're kind of disappointed that uh, they may be losing the grip on Carnell Tate. Uh, you wonder what their uh, second offer is going to be like. Do do you up the offer, or do you send it to somebody else? 